So I want to go over one special case of using the rational roots theorem, which is when you see that the last term in the polynomial, the trailing term, has a factor of x in it. And at first you may be confused, like, um, well, you remember that q is from the front and p is from the back, and you may think, well, what do I do if there's an x where I'm expecting p to be? And this may seem like it's going to be difficult, but actually this problem is a gift. It is a gift because things are going to get simpler very fast. Remember what the first thing you always do with factoring is. This is going back a while, but even before we started talking about factoring trinomials, we talked about GCFs. If you see a greatest common factor, pull that thing out of there. So this is really equal to x times 4x cubed plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 20. Okay, so right off the bat, this thing that looked like a degree 4 polynomial is really only degree 3. That's great. And now you use p of 20. Okay, so this is factors of 20 divided by factors of 4. Okay, and remember it's plus or minus. Now, I don't want to minimize the pain in the neck you're about to undergo trying to figure out all the possible uh, roots on this thing. It's, it's a lengthy list. It's, you know, um, what is this? Plus or minus 1. What are the factors of 20? 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So it's all of those numbers divided by all the factors of 4, all of these numbers. So, you know, there's going to be a lot there. Uh, and then you have to try synthetic division and figure out which one is right. And that's going to take a while. But the, the point here is really just what to do with that 20x thing. And uh, it, it turns out it's pretty simple. The rest of this problem, uh, you should go see one of the other videos on how to solve this one uh, rather than reproducing it here.